YouTube family. Welcome back to the channel Captures by Gabe, where we love Jesus Christ and we also love to dress nice. And guys, before we get into today's video, hit that thumbs up button for me, hit the subscribe button for me, as well as finesse that bell. So whenever I post new videos, you guys will be notified. Fellas, it's February, you see red everywhere, you see the roses, you see the candy in the grocery store. That means Valentine's Day is among us. Yes, you already know. So for my guys and my girls that watch this channel, I know you got some dates coming up soon. So I'm gonna go over five different outfits for you guys to check out for any type of date, going from coffee to anything to like a concert, whatever you need to wear, movie date, doesn't matter. I'll have something in this video for you guys to check out. But before we get into that, guys, I want you to always remember that your style should be your personal style. Don't try to go out with a three-piece suit on. If that's not your style, your, your personal style, don't go out wearing that. Wear something that you feel comfortable in and feel confident in. So, let's just say you're a guy who loves food. I mean, come on, who don't love food? And you know you can't go wrong with a great meal with an even better conversation. So, you decide to take her out on a dinner date. Now guys, dinner dates are split up into two sections. You have your fancy and then you have your casual. Let's go over the casual first. So, for your casual dinner, you know a really, really good restaurant. It's not super expensive. You may know your waiter there, but you know the food is really, really good. This particular restaurant doesn't have any type of dress code or something like that, so this is your perfect time to show your date, your everyday style, like what you would wear to work or what you would wear on just any given day. However, don't come in sweats because that's not what you want to do. Like, you still want to make it look like you put some effort into it. But for this outfit, I went with the checkered and red Old Navy shirt with these blue slacks from Gap, and then I threw on these all white sneakers from New Republic. And if this outfit is a little bit still too fancy for you, you can dress this down and make it a little bit more casual. Throw on this Iza jacket that I threw on, like something like this, and then change out those white sneakers for these all white with the gum sole of uh, Culture Vultures by Sia Collective. This will make the outfit seem a little bit more casual and not so put together if that's what you're going for. All right, guys, now let's just say you wanna pull out all, all the stops. It's your third anniversary with your wife or your fifth date with your girl or, or it's your first Valentine's Day with your girl and you really wanna make it special. You wanna take it to a nice restaurant. Now guys, for this one, the other outfit is just not gonna cut it. It's not gonna cut it at all. Now I'm not saying wear a three-piece suit, but if that's your style, definitely go for it. But if it's not, just wear something that's a bit more elevated. The trick is to be formal enough for the venue, as well as dressing and making it look like you put in some effort. For me, I'm a very laid back guy. I don't really like to wear a lot of suits and stuff like that. So for me, I went for these all black chinos, this wine red button down from Express with contrasting cream buttons. And then I went with the all black boots from H&M and I threw on this all black overcoat from ASOS. I threw in the overcoat because it's more structured and makes the outfit look a little bit less casual and more kind of, you know, elevated. Okay guys, next we're gonna talk about the coffee date. Yes, the coffee date. Now you've seen this girl like, on campus at school, you saw her at a youth group at church, or you even saw her on Instagram, and you hit her up in the DMs and you got a number. However, you don't really know her like that. So you don't wanna to commit to a full on date, but you're still interested and you still wanna to get to know her a little bit more. So you decide to, to invite her out for coffee. Now, before you go and grab your favorite pair of sweats and your Yeezys, let's take a step back. Let's be fashionable with this, all right? So for me, I threw on this orange textured sweater from Up West. It's super comfy, super nice. Down low, I have on the dark denim and then the bourbon boots from Thursday Boots. And then up top on my head, I have on this green beanie. I threw that on to kind of put like a contrasting color in there and give it that peas and carrots look. It's still comfortable, but it's very fashionable as well. And if it's really cold outside, but you still want to be comfy, you can throw on this all brown overcoat like I did from Michael Kors. It's structured, but it's still comfortable because it's oversized. Also, I throw on this scarf too to, to go with it, but it just came with a jacket. And so I happened to match the sweater. All right, guys. Maybe you're a fun guy like Kawhi Leonard. <laughs> you want to do something a little bit more active, like walking in a nice park in your city, 
laser tag, or even ice skating, but chances are there will be some walking. So I will always opt for my most comfortable yet stylish pairs of shoes. And because active dates are usually outside, you can definitely flex a little bit with your outerwear pieces and stuff like that. For this particular outfit, I went with my all black hoodie, the um, overcoat from American Eagle in the gray and white colorway, black chinos, or you can throw on black joggers. And then I have on the all white nylon Nike Sakai waffles on my feet. All right, fellas, now let's just say you both like sports, right? You both wanna go watch the game. If your team is playing, the team that you root for, and they're playing and you wanna go to that sporting event, by all means, throw in that paraphernalia, rep your team, and have a great time. But for me, I'm a Chiefs fan. So to save you guys from all that red, I actually went with this particular outfit right here. Nike Sakai waffles with those conscious jeans from H&M. I have on an all white American Eagle hoodie. And then up top, I have on this heaven stitch hat that I actually got from a company that I work with. It's a Christian clothing line. The middle I actually have on my Colin Kaepernick limited edition Nike jersey but like i said if your team is playing or if the team that you like is playing definitely throw in that paraphernalia and have a great time all right fellas so let's just say you've been talking to your girl for a while and then over conversation you guys both realize that you both have similar interests when it comes to movies. Now guys, I will always opt for something comfy and casual. Not too comfy to where I'm wearing sweats, but if that's your style, go for it, but also not too casual to where I'm wearing super tight pants and something that's not very comfortable that I don't wanna be in for a long time. So for this outfit, I went with this brown, light brown Henley with dark brown buttons. I went with this Sharper Line ivory green jacket dark blue denim as well as my thursday boots now this is my go-to outfit when it comes to a movie because these jeans are super comfortable as well as the shirt being warm enough for me if i even if i need to take my jacket off and give it to my lady because she's cold so it definitely would do the trick for your movie dates <laughs> All right, guys, now this is the actual bonus outfit for you guys to check out. It can go for the coffee date, the casual dinner, or even the movie date. Down low, I have on these Curry Air Max ones. I have on these light wash Levi denim jeans. I'm back in that all way American Eagle hoodie. And then I have this corduroy overshirt and this burnt brown type of color. I love this joint. But if you want to flex a little bit more with this fit, you would change those jeans out for some all black denim and then throw in these fire shattered backboard Jordan 1s, and that would definitely take this out to the whole new level. All right, guys, and so I'm gonna leave you with two different things. Number one, whatever you're wearing on your dates, always make sure that it fits your personal style. Number two, always make sure that, it, that the way that you dress fits the context and the type of date that you're going on, and especially when it comes to the venue in terms of their dress code. Guys, I hope you got a really good time watching me today and got some inspiration of this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. I hope you guys have a great Valentine's Day, if you're going on a date or not. But always remember, we love Jesus Christ, and we also have to dress nice. I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.